Today we're going to be taking a look at the white and red Nike Louis Vuitton by Virgil Abloh Air Force One. Previously in the last episode, we talked about the green pair. So if you haven't already, make sure you go check this video out after we're done with this one. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. On this channel, I love talking about sneakers, giving you guys in-depth reviews, especially on rare sneakers like this, and helping you guys turn your hobby into a hustle. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers, and you could be the next one to get us there. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and crack this box open real quick and see what this shoe is looking like. As you can see right here, you have an all-over monogram print embossed into the cardboard with a Louis Vuitton branding all throughout, and no Nike branding or tags on any part of the box. Now opening the flaps in the front you have a white nike swoosh right here on the inside of the top of the lid and then you have an additional pair of white laces that say lace set and then you have a red pair of laces as well a white nike swoosh monogram print right here it says louis vuitton nike air and then two white dust bags that come along with this to go for each shoe as well. On the bottom of each dust bag, you have a white leather tab right here that says Louis Vuitton Air. And then you got the paper right here that goes inside the box. Ooh, and then we got the shoe. Oh, we got the shoe. Okay, first impressions of this sneaker. Man, I saw Khaled rocking the all red ones, but these might be low key better. Now, before we get into breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials and every detail of this sneaker, we got to talk about the history first. As most of you saw from the previous episode, Virgil Abloh has definitely had a huge impact, not only on the sneaker community, but the culture of streetwear and fashion and high fashion as well. After his passing, things had kind of got put on hold for a bit, and now Louis Vuitton is ready to honor him with a bunch of crazy colorways through a special exhibit in New York and different friends and family colorways like this. This colorway in particular was only available for VICs, very important clients through the Louis Vuitton brand. With all that being said, let's go ahead and start breaking down all the details of this shoe because we definitely have a lot to cover. Starting with the outsole, you have your classic Air Force One outsole with the all over red, going up to the midsole, all white with the white stitch, and then you got your Nike Air branding, just like your classic off-white Air Force Ones that we have seen from the past, and then a little bit of air right here with the red line just below that. Now the upper is mixed with two different textures and colorways. You got a red two-tone print and a white embossed leather as well. One thing that is very common when it comes to the off-white Air Force Ones is the zigzag stitch or the little tab on the back end. Now this one here is in lime green and honestly I think it looks pretty dope. Now looking at the white leather on the vamp in the midfoot you have an embossed monogram print and I'm definitely a huge fan of seeing something like this when it comes to the different colors and textures on the shoe. Another cool thing that I love about this is they continued that leather up throughout the tongue. You have your white laces and the white tongue with the monogram print and then you have a nice smooth red leather tab on the side classic like your ordinary off-white air force one now one of my favorite touches on this shoe is the gold louis vuitton on the back or on the inside of the midfoot we typically see this printed in white or black when it comes to the nike off-white collaborations but with this one in particular being even more special i like how they added the louis vuitton for nike and having it in a gold touch now looking at the sock liner you have a very fine soft white mesh and then you have a white insole as well with the louis vuitton logo and the nike logo in black and below that, there's another cool detail that not too many people know about. You also have Louis Vuitton Paris right here engraved into the outsole. And then underneath that, you have a monogram Louis Vuitton print all throughout the bottom of the foot. So when it comes to attention to details, craftsmanship, and overall presentation, again, this is another crazy shoe that I think a lot of people would appreciate no matter the value or if they like the colors or not. They just have to respect it simply because of how well they did presenting the shoe. So I'm sure as you guys can tell, I clearly love this sneaker. I love red and white shoes. I think these would go great in my rotation. Unfortunately, this is not a size 13 and I'm not spending 50 racks. So we'll see what you guys think about it. I posted a poll on my Instagram story to see what people think if it's fire or trash. If you haven't already, follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. This is what they say. Again, another landslide. Everybody loves this shoe. I completely understand. There's gonna be a couple people that may not, but when it comes to the vast majority of the people, I understand why people like them. Even if it wasn't a Louis Vuitton collaboration, it's a red and white shoe. It looks really good and you can put a lot of cool outfits together with it. Not talking about the dollar value and everything that comes along with that end. And speaking of the dollar value, as of right now, these shoes are astronomical and we might just have a chance to actually get our hands on them. But I know for a fact it's gonna be very slim and a lot of people are gonna be going 
going after them. The shoe is going to retail for $2,750 plus taxes. That's going to be probably just over $3,000. And that's probably going to weed some people out. But at the end of the day, I know a lot of people are going to be willing to throw their money at these shoes simply for investment purposes, wanting to flex on the internet or to have a nice premium shoe or have something crazy that nobody else has got or to pay tribute to Virgil Abloh. You name it. There's going to be a lot of different reasons why people want this shoe. And I can only imagine what it's going to be like when that day comes and they announce that they're going to be giving these to the public. Now, I'm not 100% sure on the exact colorways that will be releasing to the public. And I'll try to make sure that I keep you guys updated as we go. And I'll try to give you guys as many reviews as possible when we get all these different ones coming in and everybody finally getting pairs in hand. And I would love to see the whole collection put together someday. Maybe I can be the first one to bring that to you guys. I don't know. We shall see. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see a review of the green pair, I made sure I did this for you guys yesterday. If you missed it, I'll have it linked for you guys at the end of this video or link down below in the description. <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite, the green or the red. This one is hard, bro. I can't even pick right now. <laughs>